Hey everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. And in this video, I wanna show you the three tools that I use as a dungeon master that make my life so much easier. So let's dive right in. So when I was first starting to DM, um, it seemed like an impossible task to write a story fill a dungeon with a bunch of puzzles and things like that. Um, the the whole mathing out what monsters should fight was just really confusing to me. Um, and I found some online resources that really helped me create um, a, a campaign. Uh, you can use this to create a one-shot. You can use this to do a one-shot that springs into a large campaign or just start with a large campaign. But these tools made my life as a dungeon master a lot better. So I wanted to share with you guys these free online resources that help me um, be a better dungeon master. So let's dive right in. First is generating fantasy maps. Now, I am not a map maker, but if you want to create some kind of map to give your one shot or your campaign a, a, a larger sense of the world, this is a great, great website. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll past um, this and scroll past this, and we're gonna go all the way here to generate a random height map and you kind of just generate it till you like it. You know what, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Um, and we're gonna scroll down and then we copy the map from above. And we're gonna show the coastline because we wanted that and we're gonna show some rivers. And so here's my land, here's the ocean. And we're gonna come down and we're gonna do some cities. So we're gonna copy that from above. So here's my land mass with my rivers and what have you. Um, and we're gonna add a couple cities. So there's gonna be a city right there. There's gonna be a city right there. I'm gonna add four cities total. And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna copy the map from above. Now it is it is given names to some of these places as well. So these little towns and these, these uh, or not towns, cities, they could be anything you want. But right now I've created um, really quickly a pretty large area and here are four cities for my players to go to so I can start my adventure here and maybe they need to go here and here this could be um, a one to three month campaign on just playing on this this landmass that we've created up next when creating a campaign are dungeons now I am notoriously bad at creating dungeons I've made one dungeon by myself where I thought up the puzzles and I got all of the, the traps and things like that and I drew it out. Now that process usually takes a long time and for some people it is really fun to create um, dungeons like that. But for other people like me, when you don't have a lot of time, you kind of just need some help with it. So that is where um, Don Yawn comes from. So this is a dungeon generator. And you can go to this website by donyon.bin.sh. Again, there will be links in the doobly-doo for all of these websites. But you go to dd 5 e and there is a random dungeon generator. And if we click this, we can name the dungeon whatever we want. So this dungeon is named the Tomb of Corrupt Chaos. Our dungeon level is gonna be three because our party is uh, level three and there's gonna be five players. And we kind of select what kind of a dungeon we want. So I'm gonna have, um, uh, this dungeon is set in the desert. So this is a desert dungeon. Um, and we're gonna have it be tiny because I don't want a huge dungeon. I just kind of want one little area for them to explore. There's gonna be no stairs. Um, the room's layout is scattered, medium, all of this seems good. And then you hit construct and it generates a random dungeon for us. So I could take this and as save it as a PDF and I could print this off and this is where my players are going through. Now, if you really wanna take this and go a step further, um, I like to just use the maps that this provides, but it actually provides a whole dungeon. There are wandering monsters. There are rooms with locked doors. This is all generated, so it's not necessarily fitting like you might not you might find some things that are just like well that doesn't belong there because it's just randomly generated but for the most part it's useful so i like this for the wandering monsters and sometimes i'll go through here and i'm like you know what i do like this fight or i like that there's this trap and i might save and use that trap you could just take this and print it and run it as is and now you have an adventure for the night so now what about creating encounters in general 
like you could use these these but perhaps you want to fight a, a specific monster but you don't know how many how to make it a challenging fight well that's where kobold fight club comes in so if you go to kobold fight club or kobold.club again links in the doobly doo um this is a great website it has um you can set the sources for monsters i own those books i want to be able to see the monsters that are in those books and from here we can select um, all kinds of different stuff. So we're gonna do desert because I like the desert and I, wanna, I want them to fight beasts that are in the desert. Um, we have five players, level three, and now it shows us the CR for these things. So I could say, well, I wanna have a swarm of poison, poisonous snakes. One of those is gonna be easy. Two of those is gonna be hard. So now I know that my players have a hard encounter, which is what I kind of shoot for when I make encounters for my players. Um, a knight scorpion and a war ostrich is gonna be hard. I could took a CR one half and a CR three creature, and I've made a hard encounter. Now I could also, using these settings, so I set it as desert with beast, I can just click random medium and it's gonna give me a medium encounter. This is a hyena and five giant lizards. I could click um, random hard and it's gonna give me a hard encounter, eight giant wolf spiders. This website has saved me so much time. I don't understand the CR system very well. The math is already in place on this website and you kind of just go through and, and pick stuff until you create the, the encounter that you want. So those are my three websites that I really recommend. Generating fantasy maps for your world, like to create a world and to give your one shot maybe a bigger bigger world than it is. Um, I use Don Yon a lot for dungeons. Um, I should also say that he has uh, treasure generators as well. Like this website is, is amazing. So they fought a CR5 creature, treasure horde, and this is what they found, a bunch of money. So again, you can use this rather than rolling on the tables in the Dungeon Master's Guide. And then finally, Kobold Fight Club. I cannot express enough how useful this website is. Um, to be able to select enemies by, um, by environment, to be able to select them by type, to be able to select them by size. Like I want my people to fight a huge desert creature. That's gonna be a uh, Yuanti Anathema. And that's it. Um, I'm sure this isn't a quick video by any means, but I wanted to make a video showcasing those three things. Now, utilizing this, we can create an entire adventure and my next goal is to make a video where we use the Dungeon Master's Guide to actually create an adventure. So a lot of people, I think this is an underrated resource. A lot of people buy this, I feel, for the magical items, but there is some great roll tables on here where if you sat down with your friends and said, we're gonna play some D&D, all of you guys go and make characters. While they're making characters with the player's handbook, you take the Dungeon Master's Guide and you start rolling on these tables in that same amount of time that it takes for them to make a character, you can make an adventure. And then utilizing things like Kobold Fight Club or the Dungeon Generator and the Fantasy Map Generator, you can go down to the table and say, I know the dungeon you guys are gonna play in, I know the villain that you guys are gonna fight against, and this is probably gonna take three to four hours. So that's my goal for our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, and I will see you all in the next video.